Miami's population has seen a radical shift in recent years. The cultural demographics seem to change overnight, like magic. Today, 70% of Miami's residents are Latin American, nearly half of them from Cuba. The city of Hialeah, just north of downtown Miami, is where the most recent wave of Cuban Americans have planted themselves. It's a new generation, still hanging on to a few of the old traditions. Roberto Guerra is a Cuban-American business owner I met in Miami a few years back. He's invited me to his company pig roast later today. But first, we're picking out the pig. A live pig. We're at Matadero Cabrera's, the only licensed slaughterhouse in South Florida where you can hand select your meal after a short interviewing process. This is obviously something that's very traditional, and especially in the Cuban culture, right? Oh, yes. Uh, we Cubans, get me in the moon and we'll be yeah. roasting a pig. This is kind of like the pick your own auto parts version of porcine heaven. I mean, you, you, you come in, you pick your pig, five minutes later, you leave with pig. Yes, sir. Yeah. Very quick. You pay by the pound for the live animal. Roberto's looking for a 60 pounder. By the time they got it, it's about right. 40, 45. To me, that's the best size. 65 pounds. Our pig is sent to meet his maker, where it's also gutted and scrubbed well to remove all the coarse hair. You're probably like me. No matter what, you feel a little guilty. A little bit. Yes. Just you a little bit. Feel guilty. But they sure taste good. And only moments later. Let's go. Unbelievable. It's hard to remember we're only a stone's throw away from Miami's city center. Roberto's warehouse is in nearby Medley, where he manufactures La Caja China, a metal line inversion cooking box. The name translates as Chinese box. Right. But yet it comes from Cuba. The railroad in Cuba was yep. built by Chinese labor. Yeah. By the late 1800s, there were more than 40,000 Chinese in Cuba. Roberto's father remembered seeing an unusual cooking box in Havana's Chinatown. We did a prototype. Yeah. So in 1987, we came out and we started selling it. Yeah. The system that was not popular in Cuba. Right. We made it popular here with the That's Cuban right. community in the United That's States. That's right. Roberto runs the company with his sons, Avian and Ariel, and of course, his father, Roberto Sr. You guys have created these gorgeous, easily portable, stunning right. little machines. We prep with La Caja China's special marinade. The yeah. basic mojo, it's garlic, yeah. uh, sour orange, yeah. oregano, cumin. We'll go crazy on that. And a rub down of adobo seasoning with oregano, cumin, salt, and bay leaves. It's sometimes referred to as a magic box. The meat goes inside, and the coals convect the heat down from the top, like a broiler. What I like the most is that the instruction manual for this is six pictures. <laughs> In four hours' time, we have a perfectly cooked pig. Look at that skin. I know, it's... For Cubans, if we don't have a crispy skin, it's like... I'm Jewish, <laughs> and if we don't have crispy pig skin, it's not worth it. It's pure porcine pleasure, tip to tail. Mm, this is Snow White, and everything else are the seven little dwarfs. Even the tongue. La lengua. See, si. ah. poquito. Uh, very, very small. Yeah. Okay. I'm very good. Avian and I agree. The best part is a no-brainer. Look at that, it's beautiful. There's one lobe. Cheers. Cheers. Look at all these people behind me. And they probably all want this. No, completely not true, just lied. None of them want it. That's why we're here like buzzards over the carcass. We're the only ones that know the good part of the picture. That tasted like crushed gravel that just evaporated over the back of my tongue. <laughs> it's a classic Miami tale of old traditions meeting new innovations and one family living the American dream. You're not gonna say it, which is why I keep saying it. The pig didn't cook itself, the box did. It's genius. Please tell your father how grateful I am that so many years ago he saw this and told you about it. <laughs> Thank you so much.